Only certain apps and games are available on the, the Shield devices. Um, when you go in the Google Play Store, some stuff just won't show up. Z Steel Soldiers. Or the Steel Soldiers, whatever. So, yeah, doesn't show up. Um, this is not a deal breaker, though. It doesn't really matter. Let me show you why. So to sideload stuff onto the shield, two ways to do it. You can either go download the APK, which I tend to refrain from doing because it's an easy way to get the herp. You go get an APK from somewhere weird and eh, it's that can end badly. I have done it before as it's the only way to get some stuff onto the damn thing. But, you know, like TV add-ons, for instance, that's how you install that. Or actually, that's in the Play Store now. When I did it, it wasn't, but it is now. Anyway. The easiest way is to just go to the Play Store on a computer, type in what you're looking for. We're going to do Z Steel Soldiers, and it'll pop up. I'll buy it. I don't care. It looks good anyway. Click the drop down. This will list all of your devices. There you go. Shield TV, just like that. Continue. Yep. My wife's going to be like, what are you buying games for? <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Because I bought uh, this War of Mine last night. It's a good game. Very different. If you're not satisfied with this, two hours, whatever. Okay, cool. So now it says installed. And if you go back out to the Shield Play Store on a computer, basically that's it. You come out and poof, there's your game. Um, I had to go back in there and I rebooted the Shield because it didn't show up right away. Which was weird. I'm looking at it like, what the hell? So I went back in the room, and uh, in the Play Store, I just did the drop-down thing again, where it says, you know, list your devices, and I clicked the shield again and hit OK, and it worked. If you go to the Google Play Store, this is how you check if it's downloading or not, and you go all the way to the bottom. On Settings, right in between here, it'll... Uh, in between like this shit and these icons, it'll say downloading. You'll be able to see it, it'll pop up. But that's it. That's how you sideload stuff. It's really, really easy to do. That's just one way to do it. Super easy. Crank it up and it'll work just fine. Um, I've had to do that with a couple different apps. And this, it's, it's ironic too. The reason I actually bought this was because reading the description, it's like optimized for NVIDIA Tegra devices and. Uh, it even mentions the uh, the K1 and stuff. Um, it doesn't mention the X1 that's in the Shield TV, but it does mention uh, Shield devices and Tegra stuff. So that was kind of cool. I was like, oh, okay, sweet. It might work like extra good. Uh, mentions that you have to have a controller or it's optimized for a controller. Because I was like, how in the hell are you going to play this with a controller? These types of games usually don't work very well with a controller. Well... It said it's uh, optimized. Oh yeah, by the way, anytime you install something, make sure you go in here and disallow this shit. I don't want you guys to share all your info all over the damn place. It's it's crazy. Because by default, even when, like when you install Windows 10 by default, dear God, don't hit default install or quick install or whatever the hell they call it. Because you're just, you're asking for it. But anyway, yep, works like a champ. So I'll be playing this. I got lots of good games on here now. Yeah. So you have low graphics, medium graphics, high graphics, then you have Tegra. Ugh.